Hello, strangers. Been a minute since we last kicked it. And by the way, I just got in town. And I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky. Hey guys, what's up? It's Kayla Nash and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a sponsored video with Gorgeous Hair Company. And if you're interested in the product that you see in today's video, it will be listed down below in the description box. But before we start today's video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe with that post notification bell so you can stay updated every single time I post. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and jump straight into today's review. So when I first received my package, it actually came in this really cute metallic box. It says gorgeous across it. And on the inside, they did include a few goodies. So there is a total of two with caps in here. Also, they did include a full bag of goodies. So on the inside of the bag, you do have bobby pins, tweezers, an edge brush, an elastic band, two clips. And also, of course, the product itself, which is the wig, which is the bag that it came in, which is this really cute jawstring bag with the name Gorgeous across it. And then, of course, the hair is inside of the bag. Okay, so now we're moving on to the product detail. So this is the Lazy Balayage One Brush Stylish Easy Signature Style Everyday Wig. The length of this hair is 26 inches. The color of this hair is highlight. The lace is actually a T-part lace. This hair is actually a blend. It's a Remy blend. It can go up to 320 to 360 Fahrenheit when styling. And also, it is a medium cap size. As for the construction of this unit, there is a total of two combs, one on the left and also on the right. And then the last comb is at the bottom of the wig. The right next to that are a total of two adjustable straps. And then, of course, I already mentioned that the lace is a T-part lace. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the install portion. Okay, so I'm pretty much doing the ball cap method in today's video for the synthetic wig i wasn't originally going to do it because it is a synthetic wig but i decided to so all i'm pretty much doing is cutting out my ears on this ball cap and then i will go in with the got to be glue and actually spray it down and then end up cutting off the remainder of the ball cap So now I'm just going in and blowing drying my ball cap and then after it's done drying I'm going to cut off the excess of the ball cap and then you'll see what I do from there. I did, however, have to go back in with my Gatsby glue and actually spray down the edges of the ball cap because they were sticking up. But I did find that this method is actually pretty good when you're actually installing human hair. I do highly recommend that you make sure that the edges of your wig cap is all the way down before installing your wig. So now I'm going in with my Cats Cosmetic Contour Palette and I'm going to take one of those shades to actually make the cap pretty much match the skin tone on my face and if I can't do that then pretty much something similar or close to it and then after I do that I'm going to use a makeup brush to spread that all over throughout my ball cap and then I will begin to apply the wig. I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. No pink loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. I got, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Cocaine. So now I'm going in with my even lace spray and I'm going to spray that all over the perimeter of my wig and also I'm going to blow dry it on cool.
So now I'm going in with my eyebrow razor so I can cut off my baby hairs. Originally, I didn't know if I was going to do baby hairs or not, but I decided to in today's video. And then after I do that, I'm going to cut off my lace and I'm going to use scissors and the eyebrow razors as well. And then go back in with my got to be glue spray and spray that down to make it more secure. So now I'm going in with my wax stick and I'm going to use it on the top of my wig and I'm not actually a fan of this wax stick. If you actually use a Tiki one that I actually use in my other videos, I do 100% recommend that one because this one is not my favorite but I'm just going to use that pretty much all over the perimeter of my wig and then I'm going to hot comb it down to help with the lumps and the bumps on top of the wig. And here are the final results of the wig. Honestly, I could have did without the baby hairs. I'm not a huge fan of the baby hairs. And I think it would look a lot better if it didn't have baby hairs, in my opinion. But for the most part, this wig is actually very beautiful. I do like the colorway in this wig. It's actually really pretty. And I do 100% recommend if you are a synthetic wig wearer. I will leave the link down below in the description box. But before we end off today's video, please don't forget to give my video a huge thumbs up. And I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye, guys. I'm a freak, punk, hit a dog, and I'm in the cut She don't wait, cause I hit